Hello Cancer, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what's going on for you, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the energy or the messages for Cancer and the person they are dealing with? All right. Someone is feeling left out in the cold and someone is feeling alone and trapped. Under the deck is the Two of Wands. So I feel like you and your person are both sad. You guys are both missing each other, but someone's not making a move forward the Eight of Swords. Somebody could make a move, but they're choosing not to. Okay, what is the Five of Coins? We have the Seven of Wands, the Four of Cups in reverse, and the Lovers. This is like someone saying, I'm not going to take your cup. Um, I love you, Hermit's under here, but I'm blocking you. I'm not going to take your cup. It could be a Gemini. Seven of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Again, I feel like this person may be trying to figure out how to win you back or how to move on. This person over here is kind of like stuck in... Except for this card, this is a good card. This is like someone who's stuck in heartache, stuck in, in like disbelief, not knowing what to do next, but yet wanting to do something. Now, this could be, this is somebody new for you guys. You guys meet some. This, be careful, this might be a rebound. I'm kind of seeing two people who are, who are sad that may come together. And this could be, you know, just a physical connection. But if this is the person you're dealing with, what is the lover's? Looking at the past, reminiscing about all the good times. Yeah. It's like this person has a strong connection to you, the lovers, and they think about it. It makes them happy. They think about the good times. So some of you may be married to this person or you were married or something along that line. What is the Ace of Wands? The Ace of Cups, the Magician, and the Knight of Wands. This person is going to try to get over you by getting like, you know, like under someone else or on someone else or you know what I mean? They're going to, yeah. This person is like sad and confused, so they may try to go date new people. Find new people. Hmm. Let me see if they're going to be successful. What is the Nine of Wands energy? Two of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. This person is kind of taking their time, though, doing it. Because that's kind of what I'm feeling. Like, this person really isn't ready to date, or they shouldn't be dating. They're kind of like nervous to get back out there and date other people. I think, you know, they're still stuck on you. Maybe they haven't dated in a while. They just don't know, you know, how to do it anymore, how to, you know, go out there and meet somebody new. What is the past energy? What is the past, the strength card? Having, having to be strong, could be a Leo. What is this? King of coin, the two of swords and the star card. Okay, they could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or an Aquarius. I feel that, wow, this is like two people who like miss each other, love each other, can't be together. So it could be because one of you is married or both. It could be that one of you lives in a different area, a different country. They like they had to be strong. You had to be strong. You guys were hoping to come together. They were hoping to come together. There's this hope. There's like this hope lost in this connection. All right, energy of what you feel. Three of Wands. Energy of what they feel. The Three of Cups. So for some of you, definitely there could be a third person. They could be married. You could be the married one. I think some of you spent passionate time together, like passionate nights together, and, and you both are reminiscing about it, but they don't want to think about it anymore. They want to move on. They're tired of being sad and feeling like they're stuck in one place. You look like you're waiting, though, the Three of Wands, Nine of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Four of Swords. So again, you could be trying to date new people or thinking about dating new people or moving on. But again, this there's no action. Like with Nine of Wands, is kind of like just waiting, and Four of Swords is not taking action. And what's the Three of Cups for them? What are they doing? The Four of Wands in reverse, the Hermit, and the Ten of Cups. So again, there's no new beginning. Four of Wands, when I see Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups together, that is someone who's married, Ten of Cups, and Four of Wands is a new relationship that can only go so far because they're married to somebody else. So someone is stuck in a relationship, in a marriage. And it's kind of like, so there's definitely a third person here. I mean, could it represent a job that someone like works in another country? Absolutely, not a third person or marriage. But it's like being stuck in a relationship that they're not happy in, or you're stuck in a relationship, or you're in a relationship. It's like no one. It's like people here are dreaming of each other, they're thinking of each other, but they're not taking action. Someone's lonely. Someone. This person could get a divorce, or they could move, or they could do something. So kind of like you, if this is your side, there's not a whole lot you can do anymore. It's kind of like they need to take action but they're not. 
but it could be switched around. It could be vice versa. What is a potential outcome? What is a potential outcome? Knight of Coins. Okay, what does that mean? What is the Knight of Coins? The Sun, no, the Six of Cups in reverse, the King of Wands, and the Ten of Coins in reverse. Now this person, Justice in reverse, this person may be having financial issues. Because when I see the Knight of Coins, it's like I have very little to offer you. I only have this coin. I can't do a whole lot. I can't move forward. This person may have money issues. Maybe they can't get a divorce, possibly. Uh, but there could also be someone who is temporarily here. Because Six of Cups is not going back to the past. I feel like this may not be this person. This may be somebody else who's in the in the mix. I did, I did get like a rebound person, a temporary person, someone who's like taking either your mind off of them or them off of you, something like that. Because someone's not going to the past with a Six of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Coins in reverse. There's no stability. There's no um, long-term game plan or gain or something. Or Now, if this represents this person, and you would know, there could definitely be some financial issues. You may get some type of communication or offer from them. They may be letting the past go finally, but they may be having... I'm getting there's more like the, like the, let's let's be together physically. I can't give you the ten of coins. I can't give you what you want, but I do love you and I have passion here. So what is the ten of coins in reverse? It's like they still want this. They're still hanging on. Four of coins. I mean, sorry, ten of coins in reverse. Ten of coins in reverse. They may be coming to you. They may be not going back to the past person, like I said, but they just. Don't have a lot of a lot to offer. Five of Cups, the King of Wands again, and the Ace of Wands again. Let me do one more. They want a new beginning with you, though. They want some type of stability and growth. This King of Wands is sad. They're regretting the past. They're trying to bring this back together. Maybe they want to start a business together or start a new life or get married or... I feel like this may be what they want to offer you, but they may not have it all together right now. They may not want to lose you. They may have an opportunity here to communicate with you and they don't have like, again, I'm getting kind of like they may not have the finances or resources or be able to give you what you want, but they're going to tell you that they can try or they'll work toward it. You guys can work toward it. Because there's an energy here again, like of you guys just still thinking about each other, still wanting to work on this, missing each other, completely missing each other, like, to the bone, like just like being so sad. And you're waiting for this person, I think, with the Four of Swords. So tell me a little bit more about the Four of Swords. What else do you need to know about the situation? What else do you need to know about the situation? Permitting, Six of Wands, Ace of Wands. Wow. So you're not taking action. You don't need to. This person, there could be an ending like that you want to hear of the third party. I have a sword. They definitely could be cutting this other person out. They may be very regretful for leaving you out in the cold. That's what I'm seeing here. And breadcrumbing you. They could be with a fire sign, possibly. Someone who that they realized that it just wasn't working out. This person breadcrumbed them or something. So... I guess some of you will get communication and you may decide to, you know, obviously you take, go down the path you want to go down, whether it's take this person back or not. You may not. Five of Swords, Three of Cups, Five of Swords. You may not. Chariot in reverse, the Page of Wands in reverse, and the Knight of Wands, Justice. Every, see, she's upright. Oh, you're under here too. Oh my gosh. Is this a Scorpio or could we have King of Cups in reverse with you and a Queen of Coins? The towers in reverse. You may be avoiding avoiding a really bad situation, what I'm seeing here. Yes, this person looks like they could be coming back in a while to communicate with you and tell you what you want to hear. But you still may not be happy with them or the result, and you may still walk away. Now, I pulled these out in reverse. Upright, they would be moving on communication in the Knight of Coins, like moving on. In reverse, it's like... You may ignore this person. You may not take action toward them.
because sometimes it's kind of justification, just being justified, vindication, is that the word? Vindicated. Um, to, maybe they leave this other person to come back to you, but you don't want them. They took too long, and now it's too late, and you don't maybe trust them. Because the Five of Swords, I can almost see the Five of Swords of you getting back at them for some of you. So, I mean, take it as it resonates. You may or may not do that. That's not, you know, up to the cards to decide. That's up to you to decide what you want to do when this person does have some sort of communication with you. So I'm going to leave it there, you guys. I hope this is helpful. Have a really good week, and I'll talk to you soon.